Hey guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Masterclass, very special edition of Massive Joe's Masterclass, coming to you from the kitchen at MJHQ at Massive Joe's headquarters. Gonna drop a real short episode of Massive Joe's Masterclass, representing Gentech Nutrition, wearing the Gentech Red. Team Massive Joe's performance shirt representing Gen Tech. A lot of people been hitting us up, asking us exactly how you make or how you use this particular product, the Gen Tech Casein Protein Custard, to make your protein custard, your casein custard, as opposed to a casein shake. So I'm gonna show you right now, man. Live demonstration, we ain't gonna cut no shit out. We're just gonna show you how to make this up. So, and this is how I like to do it. And I gotta point out, this is different to the actual instructions. So if we can get some zoom and focus action on the instructions there, in the suggested use right there, it says to, to actually take three scoops and drop it in 200 mils of water in a shaker, shake it up. The only issue with doing that is you get custard in a shaker and then you're left with a shaker. Let me grab a shaker, let me grab a Gentec shaker, man. You got your Gentec shaker and you're full of custard everywhere and you're trying to get in there with your spoon like this and try and get it. It doesn't work like that, man. So what I recommend, this is what we do at Massive Joe's, is get yourself some sort of bowl or some sort of kind of shallow container. I don't know what this is. This looks like the bottom of a food processor. It belongs to Neve um, and he, he's gener generously allowed us to use it for this episode of Massive Joe's Masterclass. So this is what I like to do. So I'm going to take three scoops and I'm not going to measure out how much water because I'm going to show you, you don't need to measure out how much water. So I'm just going to drop three scoops in there of the caramel casein custard, just like that. One, two, three. All right, so we've got three scoops in there. Now you don't need to measure out how much water provided you're patient. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my spoon, my bowl, my three scoops, it doesn't matter how many scoops of casein custard you want in there. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go and add water incrementally, so a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water here, just a touch, and then I'm gonna start stirring, just like this. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to clump up, right? You're gonna start to get clumps like this. And it's a little bit dry in there. So you see that consistency is a little bit dry. That means there's not enough water. So you go and add a little bit more water and you stir a little bit more. Now you just be patient. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep adding water until there's enough water to soak up all that casein and make a nice custard. Once again, still clumping up. So we need a little bit more water in there, just like that. And then just keep mixing. And what's gonna happen is as you get more and more water, you're gonna get a thinner and thinner consistency. So you can see that's all mixing together there nicely. I'm gonna add a little bit more water just in there. The one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna go and drop too much water straight at the start because then you're gonna, mix, you're gonna end up with a protein shake. It's not gonna be a custard at all. So just like that, so I can mix that up and check that consistency out there, guys. Look at that. That's a delicious custard right there. So I could go, at that point, I could add a little bit more water, and the more water you add, the thinner it's gonna get. So if you want, you can add a little bit more water, get a thinner consistency. But for me, check that out, get some zoom and focus action in there. For me, that's pretty much the perfect casein custard right there. So that's how we recommend you do it. You get your, your, as much protein as you want, chuck it in there and a little bit of water at a time. A little bit, mix, a little bit, mix, a little bit, mix until you get that perfect consistency. You know what you have to do when you've got that perfect consistency. You gotta go and Smell them gains. Guys, that's pretty much, that's perfect. That's the ideal way to take advantage of this product from Gentech, the Gentech Casein Custard. Of course, you know you can get it at MassageJoes.com in three flavors. Comes in the chocolate, that comes in the caramel, which we use today. Comes in the banana, which is delicious as hell. Dana banana would have to be my personal favorite flavor. And that's how you make Gentech Casein Custard. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Get all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Masterclass. Everything else we got going on in YouTube. Guys, I'm gonna get myself some gains with my Gentech casein custard in a cream caramel flavor. And I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com.